What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and I am here today with a review for Baddies ATL on Zeus Network. I don't know if this is a season one, but I know this is episode one. And the episode was titled Reunited and it feels so bad. Should have been reunited and it feels so scripted. Huh. Not the best episode. You know, honestly with this, it just felt contrived. It felt scripted. It felt fake. Everything, it just felt off to me. Didn't seem real to me. Now, if you guys don't, to know me is to know that I was a huge fan of the Bad Girls Club. I used to love the Bad Girls Club. My best friend and I used to watch the Bad Girls Club every week. You know, it used to come on Oxygen on, at first it was Tuesday nights, but then at some point they moved it to Monday nights, I believe. But we watched every season from, we watched, what season did we start watching? Together. We watched season five. So that was Miami. We watched Miami together. We watched LA when season six with Char. We watched season seven with Tierra, Judy, Stasi, Priscilla, Angie, Shelly, Tierra. I know I'm forgetting somebody, I don't care. Then we watched season eight, Vegas, season nine, Mexico, season 10, 11, 12. And that's actually where we stopped. We didn't continue on. We stopped with season 12, so we didn't watch 13, which was Redemption. I know that. We we didn't watch Redemption. We I think we were going to watch Redemption, but we said no. We didn't watch season 14, 15, 16, or 17. We didn't watch any of those seasons, so anything past season 12, I don't know the girls at all. Um, So, you know, when they said that Baddies was coming back, I was like, you know, I know some of the girls. Like I said, season 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 four, 13 on, I don't know any of the girls. I know that Redemption was, you know, they just brought some girls back. But I don't know what the drama was on that season. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Um, so the young lady, Seven, very beautiful, but I don't know who she is. But, um, yeah, like I said, the show feels very contrived. It feels fake. Like I was questioning the drama when I saw it play out on social media last year with Tanisha and Natalie. I was questioning that shit, but we'll get into it. But before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any of my other videos and you guys like the content, please do me a solid favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. So with that all being said, you guys, let's go ahead and just talk about this, ep this show and this episode. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go down the line of the cast. So the first person we have is Natalie Nunn. She's from BGC number four. She was also on, I believe she's on Bad Girls Club Redemption, which is season 13. I know she did a season of Love Games. I don't know if she did season two of Love Games. I know she did season one. You Bad Girls Club fanatics can let me know. I don't remember much about love games. I mean, not love games, but she did um, All-Star Battle. I just don't know if she did season two. I don't remember. Um, Judy. Judy is from Bad Girls Club, New Orleans. She did Redemption. She also did love games. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Judy did, I think Judy did season one of All-Star Battle. Correct me if I'm wrong about that one. So we got Judy. We have Janelle from Bad Girls Club season 11, which is Miami. I know she's been on X on the Beach on um, MTV. She's done some MTV shows. I think she did a season of All-Star Battle. I'm not positive about that one either. You guys can let me know about that one. We got Christina from Bad Girls Club Mexico. I remember Christina do something. I remember Christina. The baddies the only show that I know that Christina has done. So we also have the seven young lady, the young lady seven. I don't know her, but she's from season 17 of Bad Girls Club. I don't know where that season filmed that you guys can let me know that one as well. We have Sarah from Bad Girls Club Miami, and she also did 
All-Star Battle. I think she did seasons one and two of All-Star Battle. And she also did Bad Girls Club Redemption. We have Tanisha Thomas, who is from Bad Girls Club season two. She was the host of Love Games. She also hosted the reunions. She hosted the reunions from season eight up until the end, I believe. Let's see who all the cast members. I'm trying to get everybody. Um, Sydney Star. Sydney Star. She's most notably known from Love and Hip Hop. Now I do know that when it comes down to Sydney, Sydney did audition for Bad Girls Club. I think it was season nine of Bad Girls Club. And um now in this show she kept confusing me because she said at one point she was a she was she said she was a replacement but then she said she was an original so I don't know which one it is but I do remember back on social on Twitter back you know when Bad Girls Club was on the air people were advocating for her being on um you know the Bad Girls Club I think I got it. let's see I'm trying to make sure I got all the girls so Sydney, yep, I think I got all of them. Sydney, Judy, Christina, Tanisha, Natalie, Sarah, Seven, and Janelle. Yep, that's all the girls. That, so those are the girls of this uh, baddies ATL. Um, so let's go ahead and just talk about the episode. So the biggest thing that I noticed was Natalie's ego is still just as big as it was back when i was watching bad girls club you know she runs la she is the bad girls club all that kind of stuff um she says she has businesses never heard of them not being shady just never heard of her businesses honestly i don't only only bad girl that i know outside you know what they've done is tanisha i I haven't kept up with any of these girls since the show's ended but i do know what tanisha has done tanisha's done good for herself so Tanisha, not Tanisha, but Judy and Sarah show up to that mansion. That mansion, like it's out in it's out in the middle of nowhere in in Atlanta, in, well in Georgia. They say ATL, but I don't know if that house is in ATL. But Judy and Sarah show up nonetheless. I know that Sarah lives in it. I know Sarah lives out there. I didn't know that Judy had moved out there. I'm confused as why Judy decided to bring a broom with her does she not have Miss Voodoo anymore I mean I know that was almost 10 years ago but actually with Miss Voodoo didn't she have now see I saw clips of season 13 actually I think it was the reunion that I saw where Rima was there and Rima and Judy was fighting but Rima was actually fighting a damn Voodoo doll that was always the weirdest thing with me when the girls would get into it with Judy they would fight the fucking voodoo doll. Never understood that shit. Why are y'all fighting a damn doll? The doll? Now, Natalie tells Sarah and Judy that they all have, well, actually, everybody has their own separate room with the exception of Judy. Judy is sharing a room with Sydney. Judy feels some type of way about that. Judy, girl, you and these transphobic comments. It ain't gonna fly, sis. You talking about um, her bringing down your... And then the words that Judy was using were all fucking wrong. But, yep, whatever. Um, I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna move forward. All right, you guys, so Sydney. Like I said, Sydney wasn't originally a part of the Bad Girls Club. Although they said she was a replacement. You know what? I just thought about something. Because if you guys don't know, Bad Girls Club is on Hulu. So season seven, season nine, season 10, and season 15 are on Hulu at this point. I don't know what, I, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, because I, I was just watching season nine, and I was looking at all the girls who were there and the girls who had left. So you guys remember in season nine, season nine started up with Julie, Rima, Fallon, Erica, Christina, Megan, um, Ashley, that's it, that's it, right, seven girls, it was those seven girls, and you guys remember, Erica was the first girl to go home, and she was replaced by Andrea, 
Then Christina went home and Christina was replaced by Zuli. And Megan went home and she was replaced by Natasha. And then Andrea went home, but Andrea was never replaced. So I'm wondering if Sydney was supposed to be on, if, I don't know if they cut filming early. I don't know what happened. I really don't. But I wonder if Sydney might have been a replacement for Andrea. If, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It was, like I said, it was confusing. But my issue with Sydney comes in with, she's so happy to be a bad girl. I'm like, Sydney, first of all, how old are you at this point? I know that y'all are my, I like, I know that most of these girls on my age are older. Because I know Tanisha and, Nat, Tanisha and Natalie are definitely older than I am. Because their seasons of Bad Girls Club, I wasn't even in my 20s. I was still in my teens. I was in my late teens. So Tanisha and Natalie are just a few years older than me. I think Natalie is 36 and I think Tanisha is 35. I'm just about to, I'll be 32 this year. I know Judy is my age. I think Christina is younger than me. I believe Janelle might be my age. I don't know. Sarah is a few years older than me as well. I know Sarah is just a few years older than me. Not that much older than me, but Sarah's a few years older than me. And I'm assuming, that I, I'm, I'm not assuming, I'm, I'm sure that this young lady seven, she's got to be younger than me if she was on season 17 of Bad Girls Club, which I don't know what year that show aired or what year that filmed. But I'm assuming she's younger than I am. So she might be in her late 20s. She might be in her late 20s. Mid to late 20s, I would assume. I don't know. Again, you guys, if you guys know, you guys feel free to let me know in the comment section. But I'm just questioning Sydney about she wants to be on bad. This, she wants to be a bad girl so badly. Why? It's a, is that a badge of honor at this point? I, I don't know. I didn't get it. You've been on Love and Hip Hop. Like, you did Love and Hip Hop. Some of these girls have tried to do Love and Hip Hop. So let's just put that out there. Because I know Judy at one I know Judy said that producers from Love and Hip Hop reached out to her. Like, I don't understand Sydney. Really don't understand her. So the girls are getting ready for a photo shoot. I'm assuming the photo shoot was the press photo shoot for the show as well as their intro, their intro, their, you know, the, um, the opening sequence. That opening sequence was terrible. It looks trash. And just putting it out there to you, it was trash. So Tanisha is not there. So the girl seven says she's going to go over to Tanisha. So I'm guessing they got Tanisha a house all by herself because of her beef with Natalie, which I'm going to talk about that. I didn't understand that shit. Then, and I still don't understand it now. But I'm going to pause here and we're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So at the photo shoot, actually, before they begin get into the photo shoot, Sydney just goes off on Judy talking about, you know why I don't fuck with you. You did some foul shit to me back in the day. So Sydney is saying that Judy called the production company, Beanham, I think that's how you pronounce it, Beanham and Murray, um, and told them not to put her on the show. Huh? I'm, you know, I mean, I know that production like Judy, but I don't think Judy has him. I think you're giving Judy way too much credit for that. Maybe it was the producers who decided not to put you on the show. I don't know. You know, even when Sydney wanted to audition, when even when Sydney was auditioning for Bad Girls Club back in the day, I did feel some type of way about that with her being a trans woman. Like, I don't have anything against trans people, but the thing that I, with Bad Girls Club, is seven self-proclaimed bad girls, put them in the house together. You give them alcohol, they ain't got shit to do, and they end up fighting each other. Sydney, she's trans, so she's a little bit, she's going to be stronger than what these women are. So that was always my dilemma. And it was never anything about her being a trans woman. It's just her physical strength is a little bit stronger than these girls. And I would, I would, I would you know, I was, I would have been cool with them putting her on there, but I would have been like, you know, don't let her fight these girls. And even with this show, I still don't want her to get into a fight with these women. These are, you know, at the end of the day, she's strong. She's going to be stronger than what they are. 
and I'm not trying to be, you know, again, it's not me being transphobic or anything. It's just me stating the fact, you know, she's a trans woman. So her strength is going to be a little bit, especially compared to Judy, especially if Judy gets drunk. We all know how Judy is when she gets drunk. So that's that. I mean, we saw what Priscilla did to her, which actually, I was just rewatching that too. That fight was weak as fuck. That was a weak fight. But um, Judy kept making those transphobic comments. I'm like, Judy, stop calling her a man. Because she said, at one point she called her a man. Then she was talking about a sausage. I'm like, Judy, Judy, stop. I know you're trying to be funny, but it's not funny. That's transphobic as fuck. Stop, stop misgendering her. She prefers to be called she and her. Address her as such. Like, I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that shit. Misgender a person. And this is where I say in my notes, it just, it just seems like these arguments are so contrived. Like, I don't get why Sydney would be so upset about something. So, Bad Girls Club Season 9. That was... Bad Girls Club, New Orleans. Let's see. Not New Orleans, Mexico. Cabo. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it. There's nothing classy about a bad girl. I remember that trailer. Don't put your hand in my face. So season nine, Mexico. This was 2012. Yep. So the ninth season of Bad Girls Club is titled Bad Girls Club Mexico. Premiered on July 9th, 2012 and was filmed in Cabo Lucas in early 2012. So we arguing about something that's damn near 10 years ago. We, I mean, it's nine. It was so at this point it's nine years, but we arguing about something from nine fucking years ago, Sydney. Nine years ago, let it the fuck go. You have been on many shows because you tweeted. You tweeted about either you tweeted about it or it was on your Instagram. You've been on different shows since then, girl. Let it the fuck go. Again, like I said, you were on Love and Hip Hop New York one season. Mona gave you your shot to be on TV. What did you do with it? You squandered it, actually. Because you were not that liked on Love & Hip Hop. I actually reviewed that season, I believe. Yep, I reviewed that season of Love & Hip Hop. It's on the channel. You guys can go check it out if you want to. I wasn't a fan of Sydney's. She was annoying. Wait, did I review that season? I think I did. I'm almost positive I did. Yeah, you Let's guys, I'm sorry. This show... I'm going to stick with it because I've, I'm doing this one episode review and I don't have anything else to review. But this show is stupid. What is the premise of this show? At least with Bad Girls Club, I understood the girls were supposed to go into the house and change their ways, but they never did. They always came out worse. And then even when they brought that, let's see, when did they bring in Laura the Life Coach? That was Chicago. I think that was season 12 when they brought in Laura the Life Coach. How long, did, how long was she around? Because if they bring Lord of Life Coach back for the last few seasons, you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm almost positive season 13 they brought her back. But I don't know about season 14 because if I'm not mistaken, season 14, there was a big gap. If you, you guys can correct me, but wasn't there a big, huge gap between season 13's filming and season 14's filming? I think there was a huge gap in that production because I think at that time people thought Bad Girls Club was canceled. I remember there was just one girl. Well, I don't know if she was a girl or not. It was just one per deluded person on Twitter talking about this beef that they had with some, some. They made up a whole cast of girls for season 14 before they even went into production for season 14. It was hilarious. I wish I could remember that person's name. Made a whole fake ass Twitter. I mean, fake Twitter. That was funny. Um, where we at? Natalie and Tanisha. So Tanisha does show up to the photo shoot. 
I'm conf- I mean, I know what the issue with Tanisha and Natalie is. Here's the thing that I'm confused about. Because the way they kept talking, their issue is surrounding this show. But I didn't think that's what I don't, I don't you know, I don't keep up with. I, I haven't kept up with the Bad Girls Club in years. So I don't really know a lot about what has been going on with the girls. Like I said, don't know it. But I do know that this stuff with Tanisha and Natalie, it ended up on my YouTube timeline and I saw it. But if I, from what I was understanding, they were arguing about an OnlyFans page. Because then they do a conversation. I, I was trying to watch the conversation last night with Rocky, Jada, Sarah, Shannon, who looks hella different, Natalie, and Christina. They were arguing about the OnlyFans page. But now we arguing about the, the show on Zeus. I don't know what the hell they're arguing about. I'm thoroughly confused. If anybody can clear that up for me, do so. Confusion. I'm confused. But I do remember Tanisha going on live with certain Bad Girls Club, Bad Girls Club alumni. I know she went on live with Tierra from season seven. I believe she went on live with Megan season nine. It was a whole host of other... She went on live with Paula from season 10's Atlanta. That's all that I know. If she went on live with anybody else, you guys can definitely comment in the comment section below. But from, like I said, from my recollection, I thought they were arguing about the OnlyFans, which she kept calling her scamily. Again, this is confusing. And then Natalie with them fake tears. This show is like really stupid already. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, this feels, this feels worse than this. The scriptiness of this feels worse than Love and Hip Hop. But because I still don't understand what I'm still trying to understand what the premise of Baddies is. Why is it talk? Why is it titled Baddies ATL? Why is it not titled Baddies of Atlanta or Atlanta Baddie? You know, actually Baddies of the ATL. That would have been a perfect title. I mean, I know y'all can't use Bad Girls Club because y'all would get sued for it. That's copyright. And that's trademark, you know, copyright, trademark, all that. I, I know y'all would get sued for that. Yeah, this show's confusing. So then the next morning after the photo shoot, Sarah and Natalie are talking about the situation between her and Tanisha. Still hella confused. Even they were confused. So I'm like, if y'all are confused, how y'all expect the viewers to feel? So Janelle, now here's a question. When did they film this shit? When did they film this show? Did they film this show earlier this year? When, um, because they kept talking about Janelle and she was snowed in. So, and if Janelle still lives in Houston, then that was in February. Because I know that all too well. Because I live in Texas and I remember that damn snowstorm. So she makes it to Atlanta and she ain't got no luggage. Who the fuck cares? That look fake too. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You ain't got no luggage, but your makeup is done. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. So then the episode ends up with this huge ass argument between Christina and Natalie about a makeup artist. I was like, so we're arguing about the makeup artist. I'm sorry. <laughs> it feels so fake. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Natalie and Christina did fight each other. And they actually ended the episode right there with them fighting. Again, very confused. I'm going to keep, I'm going to stick with it. It wasn't super bad, but it wasn't great either. I, for me, it just felt like it was, it just felt like it was scripted to me. And like I said, I just don't understand what the premise of this show is. I know they keep talking about getting a bag, but yeah, they keep talking about getting a bag. I, I get that. Y'all getting a bag. 
what's the bag? This sh- I mean, I, I know the show was the bag, but what is the premise of this bag? At least with Bad Girls Club, like I said, Bad Girls Club might not have, you know, it had its, you know, it had its story, but I mean, you know, the girls self-proclaimed bad girls go into a house, work on their issues, come out better people. What's the premise of this? You guys are 30 plus years old. Most of, some of you are married. Some of you have kids. And y'all all say that y'all are business women. What the hell are y'all doing? Explain that to me, but that's it you guys. Like this video, leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are clued into when I drop any other videos. Until the next time you guys, stay safe out there, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear your mask, and socially distance. Now if you are fully vaccinated, they say you can take your mask off. Me personally, I'm keeping mine on. Stay blessed you guys. And I'll see you guys later on tonight for Married to Medicine and Pose. At least with those shows, I understand them. But all right, you guys, I'm off here. Deuces.